friends, welcome to my next Hobodoro video. As promised, I um, told you I would do um, a flip through of my um, March pages in my sketchbook, in my Hobonichi, Hobodori, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> everyday sketchbook. And since it is April 1st today, the month of March is officially finished, so um, I just wanted to give you a real quick flip through. So let's <laughs> jump right in. Isn't that a pretty paper clip? I got it from a friend, from Wendy. So Wendy, if you're watching, I just so, 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 so love it. It is so pretty and right now for spring it is just awesome <laughs> so let's get started um if you want to see like a setup of my hobodori there's another video that i did a couple of days ago um i can link to this video in the info box and in the i card here so if you haven't watched this one yet you might want to do so um, i just showed you all the things that i have in my hobodori and a little bit of how i made it and uh, yeah, I mentioned that I love, <laughs> I love and I loved my Hobonichi, but um, what was kind of bothering me was the fact that I have to do like daily entries here because it is dated and this was kind of a lot of pressure to keep up with, to really do a daily sketch because I didn't want it any empty pages. Uh, in between and then it started to <laughs> sneak in that I started pages but didn't finish them or that some pages remained empty and there was kind of a lot of pressure so I was looking for another option um, because I just love 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 to sketch on the uh, Tomo River paper but I wanted to um, yeah, sketch or have an undated uh, notebook for this for my daily sketches and yeah I found those Muku uh, notebooks which are made out of Tomo River paper but they're just like blank grid paper notebooks and yeah I was so excited to find them and I've worked in this notebook all through the month of March and um, those are the pages that I filled and I filled 20, let me just check, I don't want to tell you something wrong yet. <laughs> I journaled and sketched 22 days out of 31 days. So as you can see, there would be um, like uh, 9 pages or 9 days if I would have worked in my dated Hobonichi. Um, 9 pages or 9 days that would have kind of remained empty, empty pages, <laughs> or I maybe would have tried to fill them, putting pressure on myself, that's not what I want anymore. So um, I am super, super happy with this solution for me. I have my yummy, 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 lovely Tomo River paper, yet I can just relax and just journal and sketch whenever I have the time, whenever I feel like doing it. And if I skip one or two days, that's perfectly fine. So <clears throat> let's get started with a quick flip through. Um, yeah, this is just like the front cover. I've just uh, glued down the April Hobonichi challenge on Instagram, printed that out. Um, because there's like a daily um, inspiration or daily word, daily challenge. So if at a certain point I feel like sketching something but the day wasn't like super exciting um, there's actually nothing or not not really a lot to <laughs> sketch or to journal about it happens then uh, I can just use this um, for inspiration and see um, what's on here and maybe it kind of inspires me gives me like a jump start for something to sketch like red peppers uh, a sakura tree a mushroom a mailbox a stamp Mm, favorite pastries, a piece of cake. So it just gives you a couple of jump starters um, that kind of uh, yeah get you <laughs> into the mood for sketching if nothing exciting happened. So um, I glued that there. Anyways, um, March March first uh, is this page we visited the um, 
this is like a, a Carl's. It's a local, uh, like an amusement um, adventure park, um, mainly for kids. Well, not only for kids, but there are a lot of kids attractions there. But um, and in summary, it is like based around strawberries, um, like a huge strawberry patch. <laughs> um, but um, during the rest of the year, they kind of have attractions like. Um, they had from starting in October till the end of um, March they have the Ice Welten which is like Ice World where they have giant ice sculptures um, that there were like people um, how do you explain that? I'm sure you know <laughs> like giant ice sculptures and uh, the theme was 1001 Night which is like an oriental theme like think Aladdin and camels um, so uh, the Middle East so uh, all that kind of stuff and we visited this exhibition this ice sculpture ice world exhibition and it was really 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 beautiful and pretty it was super cold in there it was like uh, min minus uh, 10 degrees minus in Celsius and it was like super cold in there <laughs> and when we went in there um, you can they offer you to take some like um, like a coat, a giant coat that you can wrap around you because it's a cold in there and we say no, 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 we don't need that, <laughs> it can't be that bad and um, by the time we were like halfway through the exhibition <laughs> we both wished we would have taken that um, like a uh, coat because it was just so damn cold so we kind of rushed through the rest of the exhibition um, yeah anyway but it was it was nice and we bought some fresh baked bread and some um, fresh uh, marmalade and some fresh tea so they kind of sell all different sorts of organic and fresh homemade um, things there so it's always really nice to go there so that's what this page is all about um yeah march 2nd i was like super 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 tired so there's a sleepy girl <laughs> march 3rd i did a page um about my favorite tv shows uh, because i'm super excited or i was super excited that the x-files is back on tv I used to be um, a giant X-Files fan um, when the show uh, was live, you know, um, like, I don't know even know when was it, like, 90, 97, 98, 99, 2000, somewhere, something around that <laughs> time. I was a huge X-Files fan and I was, like, really excited uh, to see the show coming back, to have, like, a revival. Mm, so I sketched Mulder and Scully <laughs> and actually I think Mulder turned out pretty good at least I recognize him Scully well not so much but I definitely got his like puppy eyes and the eyebrows so he definitely he like, kind of looks like Mulder <laughs> um, yeah I'm not so excited anymore because um, I don't know the feeling of the show back in the old days is kind of gone I don't know it's still good but Mm, I don't love it as much as I used to love it back then but anyways and yeah just some other um, TV shows that I enjoy watching right now or that we enjoy watching right now like The Bachelor and Germany's Next Top Model and The Voice of Germany and The Voice Kids and The Blacklist and Castle uh, yes yeah, so um, yeah as you can see nothing super excited happened that day exciting happened that day and yet uh, I found something to journal and to sketch about that kind of um, reflects this time in my life okay so whenever I want flip back through the pages I will always remember okay that month um, the X-Files was back on TV and so it doesn't always have to be like something super exciting that's happening in your life because I hear over and over again that people say um, I don't know what to journal about or to sketch about every single day because my life is boring, my life is not super exciting, I don't like do really great, inspiring, interesting things every day, um, but my life isn't that exciting either. <laughs> There are days and days and days where I just spend time working on the computer, where I just spend like time on paperwork. Um, 
we're just doing like the everyday thing, the boring everyday things. But there's always something to kind of um, capture, capture. So, yep. March 4th, um, for example, um, I uh, used the Hobonichi challenge of March. And for March 4th, it was like something, what's in your purse? That was kind of the challenge for that day, so I sketched my purse and all the different things that I have in my purse, um, just as a jump starter. And I had some, um, how do you say, consultations? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the right word. With my wedding couples, I always meet my uh, future wedding couples before they sign the contract so that we can uh, kind of talk about what they expect from their photographer, um, what their wedding is going to look like. I show my photos, I show them how I work, I tell them about how I work. So um, I always meet my couples, so I had some meetings that day. So I just sketched some like photo books. Then I showed in a contract here to kind of illustrate that fact. <laughs> As you can see, nothing exciting because um, I have like consultations with um, brides and grooms uh, like once a week. So it's nothing like super exciting, but just something that happened that day, right? Uh, March 5th, uh, let me just see what I did. <laughs> Obviously, we had some cake and some coffee. <laughs> So yeah, we um, went to Dada, that's where my mom-in-law lives and we had some cake and some coffee and I was working on my um, The Heart of Spring online class, was uh, doing some like finishing touches for the online class which started I think um, two days later. I was making some PDF files, I was setting up the classroom on the computer. So um, again, I think super exciting. Just um, some work, some everyday work. Um, yeah, next day, March 6th, um, we built a cute little a wooden a house, a wooden hut uh, for Lily, um, Villa Lily, which is um, the, the dog of my mom, the puppy. Well, actually, she's not a puppy anymore, she's six months old now. Uh, and she is just the cutest. You'll even see some sketches of her later on. <laughs> Let me just show you. If you ha just in case you haven't seen her, <laughs> which I'm, I'm pretty sure you have because I'm kind of oversharing <laughs> Lily photos um, because she's just so adorable, wasn't she? Just like so cute. Look at that. Oh, I'm just so in love with that cute little dog. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did here um, and we visited a concert of a German singer, uh, Michelle. Um, she was, um, we're not like fans or something, but she was um, singing in our local um, shopping mall. They kind of always have like um, festivities there every two months, every other month um, where they're like having a theme themed week and on the Sunday when they're kind of finishing off that themed week they always kind of have some um, uh, how do I say some entertainment act and it was like the singer and yeah we went there because it's just like five minutes from where we live so we went there and um, saw her concert and it was actually pretty pretty good we kind of liked it we enjoyed it so I sketched her with her microphone um, yeah okay it's always kind of weird to kind of, I don't know, you know, I know many people are asking for those flip throughs <laughs> and obviously you enjoy them and actually I enjoy them too, you know, when other people do their flip throughs I really love to watch them, but whenever I do a flip through myself it's always kind of in the back of my head it's going like, who should care? <laughs> Who should care if you saw her on concert or if you, I don't know, worked on your online class or if you had some cake and some coffee with your in-laws? <laughs> Who should care? <laughs> but well, obviously um, you do enjoy those flip-throughs, so um, I better silence that voice in the back of my head, right? Um, next day, March 7th, um, obviously we had some red wine. I don't even know why. <laughs> Let me just check. Guys, I tell you. Uh, oh 
Okay, the, the Heart of Spring online class launched that day and um, because of the launch uh, we had a nice evening and we had some red wine and um, celebrated that the class is like officially done and open for people to enjoy. That was that day, um, March 8th, which was International Women's Day. Women's Day. And I got some beautiful spring tulips from Thomas. So I sketched those. Um, next day, I think I skipped a day here. Yeah, exactly. So I kind of have nothing or haven't journaled or haven't sketched on uh, March 9th. But again, since it's undated, it's like no problem at all course no blank page. I sketched about and wrote about a book that I totally love and enjoy or well, enjoyed I finished it by now uh, which is big magic I'm sure you've heard about it it's by Elizabeth Gilbert um, she's also the author of Eat Pray Love which is a book and a movie I actually enjoyed both the book and the movie and it's it happens rather it doesn't happen often that I enjoy a book and the movie. Most of the time, whenever I've read the book and then watched the movie, I'm kind of disappointed. But in this case, I really enjoyed the book and the movie. But anyways, <laughs> I read her latest book, which is Big Magic. Um, it's about creative living beyond fear and it is super, super, super inspiring. So if you are a creative person, and I'm sure most of you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, I'm sure you will love, love, love that book. Definitely worth checking it out. A recommendation. Then we have March 11th, where I just um, hand lettered a quote. It's kind of fun to do the impossible by Walt Disney. So as you can see, I'm kind of just adding whatever I feel like doing that day. You know, I, I have this separate book, which is actually for hand lettering and stuff. For practicing yet I kind of added um, a lettered quote in here don't ask me why I don't even know why obviously nothing important uh, <laughs> exciting happened that day and I just felt like sketching quote so I did um, March 12th I had my friend Kirsten over and we had some uh, a brunch and we always kind of she's coming late morning or early what do you say early no late late in the morning what is it? Late morning? Is there something? I mean, I know there's late early afternoon and late afternoon, but do you have something like late morning? Anyways, <laughs> she's coming to visit us. Uh, whenever she's coming to visit us, she's coming in, in the morning and then we have a yummy uh, brunch and uh, we chat about what was going on the last weeks and then we have some art time. And this time we were working on another canvas um, Hobo Dory or Fo Dory um, yeah so I sketched like Kerstin and me and the cute little Fo Dory and our art space and having some Hugo if you know Hugo it's a yummy drink it's with um, what is it called uh, with mint it's like a sparkling wine with mint and some those tiny berries, I'm not sure what they are called in English, but anyway, it's super yummy. <laughs> so that's what this day was all about. Then I skipped another... No, I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, um, cute little Lily and we visited the puppy school. Um, it's always on Sundays we are visiting the puppy school where she's like um, doing some obedience training. Well, we are just starting out because she's um, in the puppy school. It's still like a lot of play time, <laughs> but uh, she's like moving to the next level very soon. And then it's getting more serious. <laughs> it's about obedience training and all that kind of stuff. But she's actually pretty good. She can all, she's learned a lot and she's, she's really good and um, a very obedient dog. Do you say that? She is adorable. So, um, next day I just um, wrote about like some office work that I had to do, just some random things that happened and I sketched um, um, an orchid, 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 do you say, is it called orchid? I think orchid, <laughs> which is uh, in my uh, living room 
in the window. So as you can see, just a random thing out of my everyday life. Not even like connected to the things that I journaled about. Just like a filler and whenever there's nothing important to sketch, you can just sketch whatever you want to kind of fill the page and to, um, it's just a creative practice. Um, so, then we have March 17th and on March 17th we had little Lily <laughs> visiting. We've had her for three days. She was with us here in our apartment and she was kind of turning our lives upside down. <laughs> No, life is like, really, life is so much fun with a dog, but it's completely different with a dog, especially with, with a young dog, because she's like screaming for attention 24-7. <laughs> but it's just so much fun. We had a great time with her and um, she is really, she's great. You know, if you say like uh, lay down and uh, then she's really laying down, just staying there and you can do your work. And she's just checking on you every now and then, seeing, making sure you are still there. <laughs> she is... Ah, I love her. I love that dog. It was one of the best decisions my mom ever made. <laughs> no, that's, that sounds strange, but it was a really good decision that she decided to get a dog. Because she's really enrich, enriching... Is that a word? Enriching our lives. Do you say that? Yeah. Ah, something like that. <laughs> Um, March 18th, um, there is a, a local newspaper magazine which is called Falkensee Aktuell. Aktuell, I kind of always pronounce German words with an English touch whenever I'm like speaking English, it's kind of funny. Um, Falkensee Aktuell, uh, which is a monthly magazine and they called me and wanted to do an interview about my art and about my work and the, um, Editor, editor is it editor? Uh, some guy from the magazine. <laughs> he kind of was. He visited that day, and uh, we chatted for like almost two hours. And I showed him my work, and I told him about my work and about my art, and about my online classes and about what I do. And it was really really fun. And um, so um, yeah, that was what this day was about. And actually, now the the article kind of is out already. Let me just show you really quick. Because the, the magazine came out just um, two days ago, and here is the um, the article, the finished article, and I just love it. It turned out really, really nice. It's about my work as a wedding photographer. It's about my work as an artist. About what type of art I create. About my online classes. Um, so it's kind of like a, a how do you say? A, a, it really sums up what I do pretty well and I just it turned out amazing. I just love it. It is oops. It is cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. <laughs> so oops. Um yeah, so that was that day. Oh see I skipped like two days here. It's March 18th and then I moved on on March 22nd. I drew a girl with some sad eyes and some tears. What is wrong with this world? And that's kind of connected to the um, what happened in Brussels on March 22nd, which is really like like making me sad. And that's kind of what um, this page was all about because it's like super super scary what's happening in the world with the world with some people. Um, yeah, so I think no need to explain further because I'm sure you all can relate. Then we have uh, March 23rd. We were baking uh, some Easter bread. Here in Germany we kind of have those Easter breads um, which are made out of flour and eggs and uh, butter. And it's like a very basic um, bread, white bread with some almonds on top. And it's just super super yummy. It's like a little bit sweet. Um, and so that's what we did that day. Actually it was just a practice <laughs> because we wanted to uh, bake one of those Easter breads for Easter actually to take along to my mom and to my mom-in-law. Uh, so we, <laughs> we thought we better practice to make sure um, it's turning out nice uh, and uh, to make sure we get it right 
the next time <laughs> when we really need it. But it actually turned out pretty well the, the first um, try already. Yay! So <laughs> then we have March 24th and obviously Easter is coming closer and we colored some Easter eggs or colored some eggs. Uh, I haven't colored eggs for ages. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of always wanted to do it every year, but time was always short. I don't know why we never did it over the last couple of years, um, coloring some eggs ourselves. <laughs> so this year I just bought some fun egg colors, like really like pearlescent colors. And they were like metallic shimmery colors. I just love them. I had to buy them. <laughs> and yeah, since I had to buy them, I had to use them, right? So we've been coloring eggs and it was just so much fun. It's just like a childish thing. <laughs> I mean, if you have children, you might do this every year and it's like a normal thing to do. But if you don't have children yet, then um, yeah, it is a children thing actually. But Still, we enjoyed it, we had fun, even without children, and we um, put together small Easter nests for uh, friends and family with a chocolate bunny and with some of the um, dyed eggs, uh, colored eggs, and uh, yeah, took them as small gifts for everybody on Easter. And yeah, everybody enjoyed it, and we enjoyed coloring the eggs, so that's what this day is all about. Um, then I skipped one day, yeah, obviously, and on uh, March 26th, it is my dad's birthday, or it would have been my dad's birthday, well, it always would be, but um, he would have turned um, 79 this year, but he died um, one and a half year ago, so... Um, Still, we came together as family, we kind of celebrated my dad's birthday and we kind of celebrated his life um, and uh, kind of just exchanged some good memories of him and we visited the his uh, the graveyard his grave um, and put some lovely spring flowers there and we actually we didn't bought the flowers because he always he was like a garden person he always 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 loved his garden so the first day <laughs> when the first sun rays of sun in spring he was in the garden like all day long from the early morning till the sun was going down <laughs> he loved his garden so um we kind of made it um uh, a tradition not a tradition but when as soon as there are like flowers in our own garden like like crocus are they called crocus small tiny spring flowers um purple and yellow i think crocus something and uh the daffodils daffodils ah, i should like <laughs> maybe i should have like a dictionary <laughs> translation book uh handy whenever i do the video. there's so many words that i don't i'm not sure about uh yellow spring flowers <laughs> and some tulips uh, so um, as soon as we have them in our own garden we always bring um, the flowers from our own garden to his grave uh, starting like in early spring until it's late autumn until like the last flowers in our own garden are kind of gone and then we have to buy flowers and then but as long as we have <laughs> flowers and plants in our own garden we kind of bring it kind of feels like we're bringing a little piece of his garden to his grave i'm not sure if you know what i mean but <laughs> for me it's kind of it, it kind of always feels good it feels so much better than just bringing him some store-bought flowers um because i'm pretty sure he would he would have loved um that to have like his own flowers from his own garden there um yeah so that's what this sketch is about and that day was about then we have Easter Sunday I just made I didn't make a sketch like of us visiting friends and family and of Easterness but I kind of made a sketch of what it's actually all about so just like um, he has risen just as they said use that scripture for Easter Sunday um, then we have March 28th which was Easter Monday and actually it was just like a super super relaxed day the sun was out it was really warm it was like 18 degrees 
so like the warmest day of the year so far and we just enjoyed some good time uh, in the garden and I was reading a book the Renaissance soul I talked about this book actually in one of my latest scopes I think it's about uh, people who have many different interests and passions and uh, always tr find new things uh, new new things they want to do and new things they want to discover and um, to kind of bring it all together and to make it work for you uh, because if you like have many many different things you, you love and enjoy and many many different things it, it's kind of driving you nuts sometimes to kind of get it all under one belt do you say that and um, so that's actually what this book is about so if you are a person who has many 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 different like riding many different horses um, and sometimes it's driving you nuts because you can't really focus on one because and you're afraid you miss out on other things that's me that's so me I just love so many things like it's just say I love mixed media art and art journaling I love drawing I love painting I love scrapbooking I love project life I love my planners I love memory keeping they are just already in this art and creative place so many different things that I love that I enjoy that I don't want to miss <laughs> that sometimes it's just so hard to kind of cram it all into one day you know what I mean and actually if you can relate then this book is for you definitely check it out it's the renaissance soul it is so 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 worth the read and it's really very helpful and it's kind of showing you that it's not uh it doesn't mean you don't you're not like a, a deep person you know that you have many different interests like scattered all over the place you know usually people say like you have to follow one path to get to the top or to really focus on that one thing and of course like focusing is an important thing um, you will also find in the book but um, it, it's not a bad thing if you are a person who follows many many different paths in life even some of the biggest people in history uh, were like renaissance souls okay like Benjamin Franklin he actually was a renaissance soul for example and uh, still he made it to the top right um, so um, yeah I think that's <laughs> I could do a, like a whole video about that actually <laughs> because it's just like a super super interesting topic actually and I was like super excited to find that book because I always thought it was like a, a little strange because I have so many different interests and uh, I can't really like focus on one thing only and um, it's kind of a typical thing for my star sign. I'm a Gemini and uh, Geminis kind of always have many different interests and always want to try out new things and are super excited about new things and but it's not a, a crazy or bad thing. It's a good thing actually. It's a pretty cool thing and it can really bring you forward. Um, so yeah, if you can relate, that book's for you. Uh, yeah, and then we have <laughs> March 30th which is about a um, shopping trip to Potsdam to um, the city we actually went there to um, see a doctor for Thomas to just have some like receipt for um, medication but uh, he was on vacation so we went there for nothing and then we decided since we went there to the city we can uh, like make it a shopping trip, a shopping day, right? <laughs> Once we're there. Uh, so I just bought a new, uh, like a loop scarf, which is really pretty. So obviously that's me, more or less. <laughs> it's a girl with a scarf. Uh, and I bought some of those EOS uh, lip gloss balm type things. And I love them. They're just so pretty. I, I'm, I'm so sick for like good product design. I'm a sucker for that you know if if you want me to buy something just make it pretty and I'm, I'm sure to fall for it <laughs> anyways um, yeah and a lipstick we went to Mac and some other random things and yeah that's my last day of March and those are the actually all the March pages and everything that happens in March well at least the things that are <laughs> uh, how do you say um, 
there are more personal things that I keep in another journal where I like only journal like in diary um, because I know that I share or I will share some or most of those pages so it's not going like super 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 personal in here I have another uh, journal for like some deep soul <laughs> journal <laughs> um, but actually I only use that every now and then whenever I really feel like I need to get something off my chest um, yay so and now it is April 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 1st and I can't wait to continue to fill this cute little booklet. Actually, one third. One third is almost filled. It has, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, one third. It holds 60 pages and 22 are filled. So I think I will get April and May into this book. And then I can exchange it with a new one. Yay! So I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. I hope I didn't bore you to death. I <laughs> uh, hope it was kind of interesting for you. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below the video or in the comment section on my blog and I'll be happy to answer. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm wishing you a wonderful April, a beautiful, wonderful month filled with many, many, many lovely <laughs> things to happen, great memories to be made. I actually have a lot of things on my list for April, so I can't wait. Um, lots of exciting things going to happen in April, and I can't wait to share. So, talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!